In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the two types of background images you have available to use. Now, if you look in the backgrounds folder, you'll see two types. You'll see style-driven backgrounds, and you'll see image-based backgrounds. Now, image-based backgrounds are images that we've pre-sized to fit perfectly into the iPhone 4 frame. So if you have an application that you need to build that doesn't need to scroll, you can simply drag these images into your frame and build your application on top of them. However, sometimes you will need to build applications that scroll up and down, and for those instances, these style-driven backgrounds are your best option. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new style-driven background, and it'll give you an idea of why they're so powerful, and give you the ability to create your own. So I've just dragged a section onto the page, and I'm going to right-click and select Save as New Style. We need to name this new style, and I'll call this iPhone Background, and we'll call this Chat Blue. Click OK, which will bring up the style editor. I'm going to click this button here, which sets the background image of the style. And we're going to select an image that I've created named Chat Blue. Click OK. And as you can see, this section is now controlled by our newly created style, which you'll find up here, which is called Chat Blue. And basically, that image that we inserted as the background is now going to repeat endlessly. So what we can now do is drag this section as long and wide as we need to, and that background is going to repeat. So we don't have to worry about any scrolling issues. And you'll, this is where you find the styles. You'll see some that we already created, and you can just select those. And changing the background image is just that simple with styles. Let's change it to our chat blue. Now if you need to edit the style, you can click the double A right here. And from here you can see all the styles you've created. You can edit, rename, duplicate, and delete as needed. And those are the two types of backgrounds you have available.